I am Dennis from Respect Studios and this is the Magnet Tutorial Part 2. Here we have just a few things to do, to do uh, and uh, the most important thing, the magnet, the coin and the attraction. Let's select our coin from the prefabs and put it on the scene. We have to make one empty game object, so you have to select the coin, right mouse click and create empty. We're going to call, call it coin magnet trigger. We'll select the coin, we will make another tag, which will be coin, and we'll tag the coin with that tag. The magnet trigger, let's apply it to the prefab. The magnet trigger will have a uh, sphere collider and uh, the radius will be 15 no that's too much let's try yeah let's leave it with 15 actually that's too much but let's set it to 10 apply uh, let's set it to trigger apply now these are compound colliders i think was called let's open the coin action magnet action on the magnet action we need to add one more line which will be void on trigger enter collider other and we'll say if other that tag equals coin we're going to simply destroy the the coin when it gets triggered by the magnet so we don't collect too many of them let's check quickly the magnet if its collider is set to trigger it have to be set to trigger apply the magnet collider now let's finally open the coin script <coughs> remove this script for managing coin movements we have public variables and we'll need private variables as well the public variables will need public float magnet strength which will be equal to 5 default we'll need public int which will be magnet direction will be equal to 1 this will be the direction for attraction or, or repelling I, I'm just saying, I'm just making it this way so it's easier so when it's 1 it will be attraction when it's negative 1 it will be repelling private variables we need private transform which will be called trans we will hold our the transform of the coin we will need private rigid body we'll call it this rd will be our rigid body will be uh, we need another private transform which will be magnet transform this will hold the transform of the, of the magnet when it gets triggered and we need one more which will be a boolean magnet in zone this will be we will be able to say to the to the coin if it should stop getting attracted by the magnet if it gets out so once it gets in it will start to be attracted by the magnet but when it gets out sometimes it, uh, the the coin will be missing the magnet because it's moving so it will go like this and uh, it will continue to move towards the magnet but if it gets out of the trigger, we can tell if it should stop being attracted when it gets out of the trigger. <coughs> Sorry. And uh, magnet strength, magnet direction. Actually, no, the magnet in zone will be true sorry my, my, my bad 
the magnetic zone will be true when the when we when we have magnet in the trigger zone this public boolean will be loose magnet it will be equal to true at start this this one will be telling to the coin if it should stop getting uh, uh, affected by the magnet if it if the magnet gets out of the range so awake in the awake we have to set trans to be equal to transform this rd will be equal to trans that get component rigid body now it's a good idea to set the transform to reference the transform at awake so after that you can use the the trans variable to get component of the other uh, other components that you need this way you are going to look for the transform only once and then just use the trans variable fixed update because we'll be dealing with rigid body in the fixed update we're going to say if magnet in zone so if, if the magnet is in the trigger zone we're going to make a vector tree direction to magnet and it will be equal to magnet trans that position minus trans that position this way we'll get the direction to the magnet from the coin uh, we need one more variable which will be called distance this will hold the distance between the vector 3 that distance between the magnet between the magnet and our coin we need this first we need the direction to know where the magnet is uh, relative to the coin so we can make it attract or repel the distance we need so to make we want to make the coin uh, uh, the more the coin gets closer to the magnet the bigger the attraction force will be so here we will move it will be moving like this and when it's here we'll be moving very fast that's why we need the distance so we need float magnet distance strength it will be equal to 10 divided by distance multiplied by magnet strength now why do we need this 10 is just a hard coded you can make another variable here or actually we can do it now we can make public float distance strength equal 10 F and we'll comment that out distance uh, no strength based on the distance so we are going to say distance strength divided by distance multiplied by magnet strength so if the distance between the magnet and the coin is 10 units we're going to say distance strength let me show you distance strength is 10 and the distance between magnet and the uh, coin is 10 so we're going to 10 divided by 10 we will be equal to 1 so this will be 1 multiplied by magnet strength 1 multiplied by 5 so the distance will be the strength of the magnet will be 5 when the distance between these two is 10 if the distance is 5 which means the coin is getting closer to the magnet we'll have 10 divided by 5 will be equal to 2 multiplied by 5 which is magnet strength now the strength uh, for the uh, traction or repelling will be 10 which means when we are at distance of 10 the strength will be 1 when we're at distance of 5 the strength will be 10 and so on the the bigger these values the bigger the distance will be coming will be becoming when we get closer to the magnet and we need this rd that add force 
the force will be magnet distance strength multiplied by direction to magnet magnet distance strength this is the actual strength for the magnet direction to magnet is the direction that we want the the, the 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 coin to be going so if it, the coin is here this is the direction and the coin will be going this way if the coin is here this is the direction the coin will be going this way and we're going to multiply direction to magnet and then we're going to multiply in uh, brackets we're going to multiply that by magnet direction actually is it magnet direction and force mode force we need just a simple, just a uh, simple force. Magnet. We multiply the direction to magnet direction. So this is to tell the magnet if we want to attract or repel. So if direction to magnet, if this is the direction to magnet, and we multiply it by one, which is magnet direction, it will be attraction. If we multiply it by negative one, it will repel. So, this is the actual code that we need. Now we'll say void, on trigger, enter, collider, other. If other that tag equals magnet, so if the magnet is getting in the trigger, in the big sphere, we're going to say magnet trans to be equal to other that transform okay, now we get the magnet transform that we need here mag to get the direction from the coin to the magnet and then we'll say magnet in zone to be equal to true which means the magnet is in the zone and we can start attraction magnet in zone if magnet in zone is true then start attraction now we have magnet one more variable on trigger exit Collider, other, and now we're going to say if other that tag equals magnet, if the magnet is getting out of the trigger, and lose magnet is true. So if, if we want to lose the magnet when it gets out of the trigger, we're going to say magnet in zone false. So if you want to lose the magnet when it gets out of the trigger, we're going to set it to false. At the moment, it's true. So now we can apply the coin to be sure that everything is cool. I'm going to delete it, save the scene, play, and see what will happen. Okay. You can see the sphere is getting attracted and w once the sphere I'm going to pause. Now you can see. Actually, no. Now you can see the sphere. We're going to move slowly. Now the magnet is getting in the trigger. The sphere starts repelling, uh, attracting, attracting from the magnet, and it's missing it because you can see that the force is still on the sphere because it's trying to slow down <coughs> and it's actually slowing down and this time the magnet caught it so it's missing it again and now the, the magnet goes out of the trigger and the sphere is no longer attracted by the magnet it's going down so if we select the coin and turn off loose magnet and then play you're going to see now I'm pausing it now the sphere is getting attracted. You can see now the sphere is getting out of the magnet, the trigger, but it continues to be attracted by the magnet. Okay. So it will never lose the, the magnet. What we want to do is play a little bit. Now I'm going to say magnet strength to be 100. So you can see how exactly this is working 
now that the closer 100 <coughs> if the distance between the sphere and the magnet is 5 we will be saying 100 divided by 5 to be equal to 20 the magnet strength is 5 so 100 will be the force applied to the sphere when the distance is 5 if the distance becomes 2 we'll say 100 divided by 2 is 50 multiplied by 5 250 will be the force when the distance is 2 units so now you can see magnet is in the zone and it's, it, it will almost never miss it because the strength is too... actually it misses again yeah you can see they, they still kinda miss it but if we select uh, the coin and set that back to 15 for example and the strength to 15 it will be a lot stronger but it will not go so fast when it it will not go so fast when it goes closer to the sphere now we can set the magnet direction to negative five, 1 and uh, actually can we set that to 5 to see what will happen yeah it will be a lot, f a lot stronger and uh, you know it won't it won't miss the sphere so much so we're going to say that uh, magnet strength to 5 magnet distance strength to 10 and the magnet direction to 3 so now it will it won't the higher the magnet strength the less i guess it will uh, round around the magnet well it still do it anyway if we set it to negative one you can see that it starts repelling them let's say the strength to one the more closer it gets the, the higher the repelling forces see okay guys I think that's it for now if I if some other idea comes to my mind about the magnet I will make another video but I think for now this is the whole tutorial thanks for watching if you like it please subscribe and uh, share it and like the video and whatever you want thanks and bye